what up YouTube? What up Fight World? It's your boy D Dynamite here, aka Mr. Boxer.com, aka Mr. Holla at your motherfucking boy, aka I talk boxing. So people, I'm in the building today, man, and um I realize I'm late with this video, but I gotta go ahead and drop it. I got some legitimate thoughts about this. Gennady Golovkin versus Willie Monroe Jr. As you can see by the title, don't believe the hype. Those are my thoughts about Triple G. Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. But hey, that's just me, man. I got to tell it like how it is. But anyway, let's just talk about the fight real briefly before I get into my explanation on why we should not believe the hype when it comes to Gennady Golovkin. As far as the fight was concerned, I thought it was very entertaining. I thought Triple G came in and did his thing. I thought he went in. He looked strong, tough. Um... He took away what Willie Monroe was trying to do early on in the fight um, by cutting the ring off. Okay, so he did some real good work in the first round. He pretty much forced Willie Monroe to go from plan A to plan B almost immediately. So kudos to Gennady Golovkin for doing that. Now, what I thought was interesting is what happened after that. Okay, after... Willie Monroe was forced to go from plan A to plan B. He went ahead and he went to plan B and he started to fight on the inside. And that's when it hit me. Okay. As Willie Monroe fought Gennady Golovkin on the inside, I started to notice Gennady Triple G doesn't have that great of an inside game. So, hmm. Very interesting. But anyway, we're still talking about the fight here. So for the third and fourth round of the fight, we saw kind of some spurts of action, um, exchanges between the two. Both fighters had their good and bad moments throughout those third and fourth rounds until finally Willie Monroe got knocked out in the fight. Okay. So that's pretty much how that fight went. It was a very exciting fight. Congratulations to Triple G for getting it very exciting knockout or giving it a very exciting knockout and shouts out to Willie Monroe Jr. for providing an exciting fight first and foremost and also um, for showing a lot of heart and a lot of grit throughout the entirety of the fight you know um, I don't fault him at all for quitting he was taking a lot of punishment in there and I can tell that Gennady Golovkin does carry a lot of uh, you know a lot of pop in those punches so after a while it doesn't make sense for you to Stay in there and keep taking those punches. So much respect goes to Willie Monroe Jr. for having enough sense to go ahead and end that fight. But he did try to do it in a slick way. Y'all saw that shit. He tried to like wait for the 10 count and then try to kind of get up as the 10 count as the ref already counted 10. And then <laughs> he got fucked up a little bit because the ref was like, all right, you good. Um, You want to continue? And then, you know, he had to actually quit at that point. So. You know, he tried to do it in a respectable way, and the ref took that shit away from him. You know, I actually did a prediction video for this fight. I actually created one. I went ahead and did vocals. I started to put it out, and I ended up not putting it out. Um, but I basically had this fight narrowed down to two major factors for the reason why um, Monroe would lose this fight. Um, the first major factor that I was saying is power, okay? And the reason being it. The power is a is a very big difference maker in this fight is because um, you have to have the power necessary in order to keep somebody like Gennady Golovkin out of your hair. OK, you can't hit him with pity pat punches. He's just going to walk right through you. And that's what we saw all night from Willie Monroe. OK, I thought he caught Mon I thought he caught Triple G with some good shots. Some real good shots, but he didn't have the power necessary to earn Triple G's respect. So he kept getting his punches walked through. All right. And that just can't happen because Triple G, G fights with this pressure fighter kind of style. And he's going to walk you down. He's going to walk right through your punches if he does not respect your power. That's why I felt power would play a major, major role in this fight. The other major role that I felt would be played in this fight was the role of experience. Okay. Triple G has an overwhelming advantage when it comes to experience in this fight, okay? He's fought the way, way higher levels of opposition, all right? He has the at Olympic pedigree, which Monroe does not. And, you know, he has more pro experience in general, you know? More fights, uh, 
better competition, these things play a role, okay? It, it's hard for somebody like Monroe to account for that experience gap, okay, in general. And that those two reasons right there is exactly why I thought Monroe was going to end up losing this fight, okay? He put up a good performance, all right, showed a lot of heart like I mentioned before, but I really didn't see him winning this fight. It was just more of a fight for him to kind of showcase his talent and, you know, and maybe set up bigger fights for the future, in my opinion. But to me, he was definitely three years too early for this fight, you know, and, and I definitely acknowledge his skills, but it's just like I said, man, he's, he's three years too early for a fight like this. But, you know, we moving right along, moving right along. You know, I, you know, the purpose of me doing this video, because I'm late as fuck, by the way, you know, in case you looked at your calendar, the fight was Saturday. All right. It's shit Wednesday right now. So um, the purpose, the reason why I'm doing this video is really to talk about what happened after the fight. OK, the post fight interview with Triple G. Now, Max Kellerman was interviewing him and. Triple G's first response was the fact that this was his present to the fans. Like, basically, what he was saying is he took all those punches in the fight as a way to give back to the fans. Yeah, I had to pause on that. So, what you're saying is you took flush shots to your head because you wanted to make a good fight. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I, you know, I guess that's acceptable to the fans that believe that. But, you know, someone like me, I have to question when people says shit like that. You know, when you say something like that, I have to question it. You know, it's just in my nature. So if what you're saying is that you took flush shots to create a competitive fight for the fans... Why did you try so hard to knock out Willie Monroe in the second round? You heard him and you were trying to get him out of there. So why were you pressing the action so hard if what you wanted to do was drag the fight out? You see, these are the things that, you know, you you really have to take into consideration. Now, I'm not going to say Triple G's a liar or anything like that. Maybe he honestly felt like that, you know? It just didn't look like that, <laughs> you know. I'm going to tell you guys what I think, all right. I really feel like Triple G in those third and fourth rounds looked vulnerable. I thought he looked like he was having some legitimate problems. I saw his mouth open. I saw him look confused at certain points in the fight. There were times in this fight I could see Triple G possibly losing. All right. There were few and far between. But I could legitimately see it. Now. I know I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. Triple G was having some issues on the inside. He was having some he doesn't have an inside game, really. OK, what guides him through seems to be his power. So if I was to take out Willie Monroe Jr. and put someone in his place, like, say, an Andre Ward and have him fight on the inside, what would happen? I got to say, what would happen? Even if I was to put someone... Like a Miguel Cotto or Canelo Alvarez, what would happen? I mean, those guys aren't per se inside fighters. But to me, they have a better inside fight game than Gennady Golovkin based on what I saw on Saturday. So. When Triple G made that statement to me. It further let me know that he has he had some legitimate problems. It really told me that. That's what the that's what that told me. 
okay? Because you gotta, you have to understand the nature of these fighters, okay? All right. Boxing is a game that's 90% mental, 10% physical. All right. Whatever your mind believes, your body can conceive. These fighters wouldn't be able to go in the ring and do what they do if they didn't believe that it was possible. If they didn't believe they could win, these fighters wouldn't be able to step in the ring. All right. Longer than five seconds. That's just how mental this sport is. OK, so when Gennady Golovkin gets up there and he says that he was trying to put on an entertaining fight for the uh, for the fans and he doesn't acknowledge how difficult it was for him during those third and fourth rounds that tells me that he really did have a legitimately a legitimate difficult time with Willie Monroe in those third and fourth rounds okay you can't perform if you don't believe you can perform all right and I really think that Gennady Golovkin lost a little bit of confidence based on what happened in those third and fourth rounds. But we'll just have to see, man. I mean, at the end of the day, he did get the knockout. So, I mean, I'm sure that boosts his confidence. But, uh, you know, all in all, it is what it is. Um, I want to see him in there with Canelo. I think that would be a very interesting contrast of styles. Or even him in there with Kodo, I think that would be interesting based on what I saw in the Monroe fight and him having that difficulty fighting on the inside. I think a lot of fights would be more interesting. And I think a lot of fighters at this point, based on what they saw in that Monroe fight, may be licking their chops, ready for some Triple G. All right? Because I know that if I was a fighter in that division... I would be having some thoughts about going after the man Triple G, you know. If you can get around that power, you may be able to chop that tree down. I guess what I'm trying to say is, to me, the impenetrable force that is Triple G may have just downgraded to man. Regular man. And a regular man can be beaten. So we may have just witnessed the beginning of the end for Triple G. But I guess we'll just have to see. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up on Twitter, Box Capital X or Capital X Die. You can also hit my Facebook community chat page, Box Minus Sign or Minus Sign Die. But until next time, it's your boy D Dynamite signing out.